Last but not least, Mr. Philip Davies, please, with an application on uh, requesting a debate on International Men's Day. Philip. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for allowing me to come and uh, present to you uh, today. I, I very much uh, appreciate it. Um, obviously, this is following on from last year's very successful debate uh, that you very kindly uh, granted in uh, Westminster Hall on International um, Men's Day, um, where we had a, a lot of support in the in the debate. Uh, I, I'm delighted to say as well that we actually had as many women uh, speaking in the debate as men uh, to show that it wasn't actually just about one particular uh, gender uh, and if you see my application uh, the 20 names I have 10 are from the government benches 10 are from the opposition benches and there are seven women who are also on that list to, uh, to show that it actually does appeal to lots of people the, the issues that we uh, that, that are relevant, are still relevant today and, and are still very rarely get deb debated and discussed in the House of Commons, things like uh, male suicide, the underperformance of boys in schools, uh, the way that uh, men sometimes have difficulty getting access to their children, uh, the uh, impact on men on the criminal justice system and, and only recently the, uh, the new Prime Minister has raised the issue of how uh, black men in particular are particularly affected in the criminal justice system and it seems to me that this debate would allow all of those issues and others to be uh, discussed. The, the only uh, difference, uh, Mr Chairman, that I've made in the application this year, and, and this is um, really in response to, um, if you read the Hansard uh, of the debate from last year, you'll see that um, virtually all the speakers said that they thought that the debate should have been held in the main chamber uh, in the way that International <coughs> Women's Day is. Um, that was not something, uh, as, as you remember last year, I said I was quite relaxed about where the debate was granted, but that was the feeling of the people participating in the debate, particularly the chairman of the uh, Women and Equality Select Committee and the other members of that Select Committee who spoke in the uh, debate. And so, as a result of their feedback, I, I, I've therefore put the request to be in the main chamber because that was the feedback that was clear from the debate last year. Very much indeed. Any questions, please? <coughs> Bob? Uh, what's the ideal timing for you to hold the Sorry, because obviously yes. International Men's Day, I think, just quick maths, uh, is falls on a Saturday. That's, that's right. Uh, I should have mentioned that, Mr Chairman. I, I apologise. <coughs> I'm grateful to Mr Blackman for, um, for, for raising that. The, the, the day for International Men's Day, which is, which is um, commemorated in 60 countries around the world, is the 19th of November, which, as Mr Blackman rightly identifies, is on a Saturday. Um, so, in, a, in an ideal world, I guess, um, given the, the days that are normally allocated to uh, the, the committee, and I appreciate that at this stage no days will yet have been allocated at, at that time, I, I appreciate that. But I would have thought that the Thursday, the 17th of November, would have been the ideal date, as it would just be leading up to that particular date. But I, I appreciate that is not necessarily within your gift, particularly at this stage when the days have been allocated. Well, you know, in, in, the, in the comments of business questions on Thursday, I, I did mention, you know, about if we get early notice of yes. date-specific applications, that we can put a, a note into the Leader of the House's office to say that, you know, if we've got a date-specific application, if time couldn't be afforded in that week, um, that would be ideal. It, it, it isn't always possible for the government to accede to that, but um, if it, you know, we'll try and do it by negotiation. Yes, I appreciate Calvin. that. Just, just a bit, given that it's been touched on already, do you still think that the number of substantive motions that are in the queue at the moment that are given? I take what you're saying about um, the chamber. And I, but would you accept Westminster Hall if it was the only way to get it within a kind of type of close enough to the day itself? Well, um, uh, it's a, it's a perfectly fair question, and, and I, I don't really come here seeking to try and dictate to you where the debate should be allocated. I, I really don't. And I appreciate that you have a. An, I was on the committee for the if it's first two years of existence, and so I appreciate fully the uh, the demands and the fact that you're not able to keep everybody happy. I, I appreciate that. So the last thing I want to come and do is to pour even more uh, pressure on you to that extent. I, I will rely on your good judgment. I, I merely say that I. Um, this was the, the, the very clear feedback from people who spoke in the debate last year 
uh, and, and it would be in order to give it the, the same sort of parity as International Women's Day, which even though that isn't on a substantive motion, is always debated in the in the House of Commons chamber. And so that, that's the only point I would make. But I, I appreciate the pressures that the committee are under. Thank you very much. Anyone else, please? In that case, thank you very much for the application. And that concludes the formal business of the committee for the afternoon. Thank you very much indeed. Order, order. <clears throat>